The creatures of the floodplains are under attack by a nasty intruder. The cane toad was introduced to Australia in the 1930s to control pests feeding on sugarcane. Unfortunately, the toads preferred to consume the native wildlife. Cane toads leave a bad taste in the mouths of would-be predators. So, they've been left to run rampant. This male is a gluttonous brute. If he can swallow it, he'll eat it. He hunts without grace or subtlety. Inside his mouth, glands coat the tongue in sticky fluid. The tongue flick lasts only 10 milliseconds. By depressing his eyeballs into his mouth palate, he forces the meal down. In these dangerous waters, most creatures as small as the toad keep a low profile. This brute, however, enjoys his meal out in the open. Because this toad is full of more than just swagger. His defence oozes from his skin. Glands behind his eyes secrete a deadly hallucinogenic toxin. Unwary attackers suffer a long, drawn-out death. Cane toads can live up to 15 years. And while adults tend to be thuggish loners, younger generations knock about in gangs. They swarm over the marshes, devouring anything in their path. While native creatures tend to give these toxic pests a wide berth, the young toads do have one wetland enemy. The keelback snake. Endemic to Australia, these snakes hunt toads albeit with middling success. Keelback snakes carry a genetic tolerance to cane toad toxin, at least in small doses. This trait is inherited from ancestral keelbacks that evolved among toads in Asia. The smaller the toad, the fewer toxins it produces. But something's amiss. The toad is too big and the poison too strong. If the keelback had devoured the toad, it would have followed a multitude of native predators to an early grave. While the keelback might not always come out on top against the cane toad, there are others that do. Ants are among the few native species unaffected by the toad's toxins. These minute warriors wage war in armies. With strength in numbers, sharp mandibles and caustic fluid fired from their abdomens they have overcome a toad. The toad's natural defence of standing still and letting his poison deter attackers only makes their task easier. Within a few days, there will be nothing left but bones. A fitting end to an invader that doesn't belong in any of Australia's wetlands. <laughs>